Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is going to be an in-person recap, and I apologize. I'm having to use my cell phone for the uh, video because I cannot get my camera to work with me tonight. So, um, last night I went to the Jacksonville Suns uh, Montgomery Biscuits game here. Um, I live just outside of Jacksonville, but I'm a huge Tampa Bay Rays fan. Montgomery is the double-A team uh, for Tampa, um, and that's who I went after last night. So, I got two guy, two of this one, uh, Hector Guevara, the Princeton team set, and Charlotte Stone Crabs team set. Joey Ricard, who made this incredible, amazing catch. I don't know how he didn't break his leg. Um, running into the bullpen, Next guy. sliding, um, was just insane. Um, anyway, Kyle Winkler, two of these. He was cool. His name's not on the roster. He's only been on there for a couple of days, and nobody knew who he was. And um, he, I guess he didn't realize somebody was going to set for his science. He was really cool. And uh, Thomas Coyle, got him on too. I got a lot of these guys the first time they came through, um, the first of the year. Like, I've probably got six or eight coils. Um, same thing with Daniel Robertson. I got eight of him the first time they came through. So it's uh, Johnny Field. Chrome and Elite, and then a Bowling Green Hot Rods team set, and then Patrick Lunder, who's actually from right around here in St. John's, just south of here. He had a lot of people at the game last night on a Chrome and on a regular, and then on a Heritage Miners. He's another one I got a bunch of um, the first time he came through. I think I got him on six or seven. And Mark Sappington, super, super nice guy. On a chrome and then on his regular. And then I got four Cameron Seitzers. Actually, he gave me a baseball. Um, it started raining and I was the only one that was sitting on the bottom. I guess I was the only one dumb enough to sit in the rain. Um, and he threw me a ball after he made a put out at first on the last out of the inning. So I'd show it, but I'd already given it to the kids. And it's, Lord knows where it's at. Uh, so the pro debut and then a was it 09, I think, no, 2011 Princeton uh, Rays team set. So, super cool guy there. Tyler Goodell, got him on one. And Parker Markell, got him on two. And then possibly the nicest person in baseball. Um, nice. This guy, Ozzie Timmons is, I mean, I know he was never like the stud major leaguer. Um, just, he has got to be one of the incredibly most nicest guys in the history of baseball. I mean, short of Ernie Harwell, um, the late radio broadcaster for the Detroit Tigers, um, I actually have had the fortune of meeting and getting him to sign a uh, baseball for me before he passed away. This guy might be the nicest guy in baseball. So he signed six for me. He has been the hitting coach for Montgomery for about 10, I don't know, it seems like 10, 12 years, probably hasn't been that long. Um, when Logan was younger growing up, we used to go to, me and my ex-wife used to always go to the games and take Logan. And he used to always talk to Logan, always made a point to go to him and shake his hand, give him five, give him a baseball. Um, just the coolest guy. And Ozzie is, is down to earth. I mean, he, I go every year that Montgomery comes in for at least one or two games. He remembers me for, with having Logan. Um, even last night I was asking how he was doing. So, I mean, he's just, he is incredible. Super, super nice guy. I have nothing but good things to say about him. Um, then the two big guys, <clears throat> four of them, four of both, um, uh, Justin Connor, and he only signed one their first time through. He was not in a very good mood the game that I went to. Um, last night I was the only one doing autographs. I guess the weather kind of scared everybody off, but it didn't rain until about the second or third inning. Um, he, he signed all four for me. Was a, was super nice. Talked to me for a couple of minutes. And the same thing with Robertson. He actually apologized because I asked him if he could sign and um, he was actually in the middle of doing something and um, came over and signed and apologized that he had to, uh, had to wait. I mean, he was just, oh, this guy's the number two prospect in the Tampa organization. I mean, this guy's, I mean, there's full of good guys on this team. There's not a bad one on there that I have met. This one kind of smudged up a little bit, but that's all right. Um, I've gone to a ton of games so far this year. Uh, I'll say a ton. I've gone to Daytona a couple of times. Um, going to go to Savannah on Sunday. 
Um, they're going to have Greenville, Yohan Moncado. Uh, it's coming through there. So I'm going to try and get him on a baseball. The Cuban shortstop for the Red Sox. Um, I did, I've done Lakeland and did Bradenton. So I've got some Austin Meadows, Reese McGuire. Uh, one day I'll try to get, I've already got all that stuff put up. Maybe one day I'll get it out and do a recap of that. I went to three games in three days and did like 174 autographs in three games. I actually ended up with, um, I think it was 98 week before last in Daytona one night with between team sets and then Jupiter. Um, Jupiter had Avery Romero and a couple other pitchers. So anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Um, none of this stuff here is for trade, but I would be willing to try to see if I can find somebody who's um, maybe lives in another league that doesn't have affiliates or something that maybe wanted to do some trading um, or some 50-50 stuff. And uh, that's about it. So if you're interested in him yet, Take care, guys. See you.